New into stock, we've got a beautiful car, very, very clean inside and out. It's a Mercedes-Benz E-Class 2.1 E250 CDI SE 7G Tronic Plus 5 door. Fuel economy, urban 43.5, extra urban 58.9, combined is 52.3, top speed of 144 miles per hour, 0 to 60 time of 7.8 seconds out of a 201 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months is £85.25, 12 months 155 I'll just show you around it, but it is a really, really nice car. Uh, finished in silver, metallic. The big Mercedes-Benz uh, emblem in the grille there. Multi-spoke alloy wheels. We've got the uh, aluminium roof bars, brushed aluminium, window surrounds, the sill extensions. I'll show you in the back. Rear wash white, integrated uh, roof spoiler, reversing sensors, little catch under there, it's an power open tailgate. You can see the load cover slides up these grooves as the tailgate's opening and gives you more room to put your stuff in. Bags of room in there, plenty of load space. Power close. Just show you in the back. Plenty of room in the back here. It's like brand new. We've uh, we've also got, which I forgot to tell you about, a cargo net um, just behind the uh, rear seat. Um, stop you getting whacked in the back of the head if the driver has to brake suddenly, or it uh, stop your dog jumping over the seats as well. Rear centre armrest. Little compartments in there with cup holders. Uh, nice and handy. Three inertia reel rear seat belts. Lots of leg room. I've got my seat a long way back as well, so uh, I, I'm quite comfortable in here. I feel like I'm sat quite low down actually. There is bags of headroom and uh, this nice checker plate aluminium finish here and the uh, dual stitching on the door cards. It's, uh, it's, it's really, really nice in the back here. Okay, let's go for a drive. Two keys. We have a digital service history for it. As you can see, that's, uh, that's them all. There's one, two, three, four, five, six Airplane services. Stairs. We got and uh, that's the list there. Would be a lot simpler if it was just in a nice service book. But uh, that's too easy. So the services. 12th of the 4th, 2014 at 16573, Jared Mann Mercedes. 4th of the 4th, 2015 at 26352, Miles, that's Jared Mann Mercedes again. 12th of the 12th, 2015, 41,946 miles, Jared Mann. 25th of the 8th, 2016, uh, 57,820 miles, Jared Mann. 25th of the 8th, 2017, 69,410 miles, Jared Mann. 21st of August this year, 2018, at 77,907 miles, Jared Mann. Um, I think there was uh, some advisories as well on the MOT about tyres and the there's four brand new tyres on it and the, the premium brand, I think, just let me check, I think the Continental. Conti Sport Contacts, so uh, four nearly new tyres on as well. Car's only done 80,281. I'll, I'll take you for a ride in it. It's got the uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, gear selector on the steering column which I'm not a big fan of at all <laughs> but uh, you, you do get used to it when you're driving the car every every day it's, it's not a problem it's just when you're driving different cars all the time and you're used to your wipers being on the side there so height and reach adjustable steering wheel electric seat adjustment 
up and down and uh, into drive there I don't think there's much. Uh, I don't think there's many cars that are, are more comfortable than the Mercedes E-Class to drive. Um, this this is really really nice. It's very very clean. You wouldn't think it'd done eighty thousand miles. Um, eight, well, eighty thousand miles is not a big deal these days. We 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 had several cars uh, with the two hundred thousand miles plus um, on the clock. Diesel. Uh, Diesel's a lubricant as well as a fuel, so diesel engines tend to last longer than, than petrols, and uh, they don't seem to work as hard. Plenty of low end torque from the engine, so uh, they just kind of plod along. Stop start. just stops just as you're ready to pull out yep there you go instead of breaking this speed up Great engine, nice and quiet, nice and smooth, no vibrations or wheel wobbles. To be fair, just having four new tyres fitted, you wouldn't expect them to be, but uh, let's just get a bit further away. The, um, the legroom is adjustable by a, a catch on the bottom left hand side here, but the uh, height adjustment and the seat backrest is electrically adjustable. Front central armrest here, nicely padded, a little uh, catch there on the front. No judders from the brakes. Going into the sun, that's going to play havoc with my cameras. We've got electric door mirrors there, just check them. Yep, that one's working. That one too. Electric window switches here, global locking and unlocking. Your light switches, some multifunction steering wheel. past this scrap wagon here so your audio controls there and that controls your display your information display in the center of your instrument cluster which is your trip counter eco display fuel consumption Mileometer and uh, speedometer. Got cruise control and speed limiter just down here, on the left hand side, just below your indicator. And wipers, we'll check the wipers. Wipers are all good. Nice, well padded seats, and then you've got this kind of checker plate uh, inset to the uh, dash, gear tunnel, door cards. Your instrument display on the left hand side is fuel gauge, then coolant temperature.
then your speedo and then on the right hand side rev counter the car's got bluetooth hands free it's also got audio streaming sat nav there's the uh, controller I just want to get away from this lorry behind me who's driving very very close and making me a tanker sandwich there which I don't really like so get to 70 70 miles an hour Got paddle shift as well just make sure we're in top there 70 miles an hour 1600 revs paddle shifts just there change down on the left hand side and up on the right hand side there's also a, a red triangle that comes on there telling me that I'm too close to the car in front and I've just done it again what I always do instead of switching the uh, wipers on I've knocked the car into neutral again that's me you do get used to it but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's that's the worst idea Mercedes-Benz have ever had but having said that there is of course the foot brake which uh, I managed to live to tell the tale but uh, I sold a Mercedes E-Class to a chap who worked on oil rigs and his wife came to pick it up one night it was throwing it down, it was pitch black it was the middle of winter and I took her for a drive to make sure that she was familiar with all the controls um, unfortunately it was, it was a manual car and we were driving down the dual carriageway and uh, he's checking his Facebook status instead of looking at the traffic light. We were driving down the dual carriageway and she went to change gear and instead of pressing the clutch, she accidentally pressed the foot brake and uh, there was nothing I could do sat in the passenger seat. I would have had to have reached over here and pulled the handle here to release it. So we ended up doing um, basically a handbrake turn in the middle of the dual carriageway and having the cars coming at us going past us on both sides so that was perhaps a, an equally bad idea as well but from what I can see here I've not tried it but you can knock the car into reverse without pressing the button at the end when you press the button at the end it puts it in park so uh, it, it's just strange I, I, li I like the, the Land Rover and stroke Jaguar um, rotary gear selector in the centre here rather than the, the handle oh. but uh, that's just me it's, not, it's only that's only a personal thing and uh, as I say you do get used to it and otherwise it, it's a lovely car it's a great looking car especially for an estate car and it's uh, it's lovely to drive as well Mercedes engines really really good and also the gearbox I, I even like that, I think that's a nice touch, a, a nice classy looking clock in the centre there. It's uh, kind of Rolls Royce-ish. Here we've got the selector, turn over there, click on Navi. I'll just uh, turn that off. So, click forward, 
flick the star on the left hand side and you can flick through your consumption and time that's kind of your screensaver press the center your display comes up for get to the top there and wind it to navi and then you've got audio click on audio that's uh, Bluetooth audio streaming the speakers are great the sound system is fantastic you've got telephone video and now we're back to the, the time which is uh, the same as that why, why you'd want that there I'm not sure I think there's a lot of salt on the road today I'm just about to uh, squirt the screen which I'd have put it in park I don't know what were they thinking there we go we've got cup holders there push it a bit further back power socket climate control you've got heated seats let's just see power folding door mirrors We've got front and rear reversing sensors and the Parktronic display. Hopefully the uh, college is broken up now and I'll be able to get on the car park. Oh, it's, the vehicle's one lady owner as well. And uh, as I say, it's ni nice and clean. It's uh, a credit to her. And uh, the seat belts also smell nice. Very, very quiet car. Even though he was looking straight at me, I still wasn't convinced that he wasn't going to pull out. <laughs> 